Everyone thinks they have the best dog, and none of them are wrong. But not everybody has the votes to support that claim. But Sue does. Mm -hmm. She recently won the People's Choice Award in American Farm Bureau's Farm Dog of the Year contest. As Kevin Worthington tells us, Sue is an eight-year-old Blue Heeler cross that helps her owners, Phil and Kim Slay, herd cows and sell tomatoes on their Chambers County farm. Phil Slay is a seventh generation farmer in Chambers County, raising beef cattle, sheep, and greenhouse tomatoes. Compared to many others in the state, his operation is small, so most days he makes up the entire workforce. But he rarely works alone. I've got one pasture's got about 80 mama cows in it, and me and her and a horse can get all them 80 mama cows and their calves up without no problem at all. When uh, we, we sell our cattle in truckload lots every year, and uh, the same truck driver's been here for about four years in a row. And uh, he, when he calls me to line up when he comes to pick it up, I want to know what time Sue's going to be there to load his cattle because she, she loads them all up. Before Sue, the Slays had used border collies to herd their livestock. They are trained using very specific commands to get them to perform different tasks. Phil says Sue is a little more basic than that. Kim would say away or come by and Sue would look up at her and say, I don't know that. And all I got to do is snap my fingers and point and hold my hands up certain ways and she just learned from that. I don't, I can't really explain, uh, explain that other than that it was just built in her. I mean, she was born with it. Besides being his farming partner, Phil says Sue is also his therapist because she listens when they're riding down the road together and doesn't judge. But when they're making their weekly tomato deliveries, Sue switches to her other job as the farm's director of public relations. Well, they usually say, Sue, how are you doing today? How many tomatoes you got today, Sue? They don't ever acknowledge me when Sue comes up. <laughs> they, they, uh, uh, when I, me and Sue come up, she gets all the attention, <laughs> which is all right with me. Because of her work on and off the farm, Phil and his wife Kim thought she was a shoe-in to win the American Farm Bureau's Farm Dog of the Year contest. Well, she came in second to a dog from Utah. But what the Slays are most proud of is that Sue far surpassed all the other dogs when she was named People's Choice in a national social media campaign. Sue is a very versatile dog. She's the barrel racing dog. She's the go to the livestock showing dog. She sit on the volleyball bench with a uniform on with our team dog. She works the gates. She goes to, you know, we have sheriff's department. We have special needs rodeos. She works those. She works Valley Haven, family day on the farm. We're in a small community. And so people know Sue. So they voted and asked their friends to vote and it just spread. Sue's worked with Phil for eight years. Four years ago, Kim returned to the farm when she quit teaching school full time but she says Sue has had a little trouble adjusting to her new position on the truck seat. And so we fought over the window and she gives me a little more room now, but still it's a fight. I have to race to the truck. It's almost like little kids racing to see who gets the window seat and it's still an ongoing battle. And if the house caught on fire, I don't know which one he would go for to get out first, I'm just saying. I tell everybody that, that uh, I, I love her more than I do my wife. You don't have to put that on there, but uh, but I could. The other day I put them in the trunk. I put Sue in the trunk and Kim in the trunk and rolled them around and opened the trunk up. And Sue was glad to see me. She licked me, but Kim still ain't spoke to me. <laughs> For Simply Southern, I'm Kevin Worthington. There's nothing quite like sitting down to a home-cooked meal with fresh vegetables from the garden. With Bonnie Plants from your local quality co-op store, you can enjoy the freshest vegetables right from your own backyard. And no matter if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, your quality co-op store has exactly what you need 
to get the most out of your plants. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. The versatile peanut. Meat of the earth. Friend of the soil. Tasty. Nutritious. Packed with protein. And Alabama peanut farmers nourish some very special things. Families. Communities. And Alabama's economy. Peanuts. Good for you. Good for Alabama. For more Simply Southern, be sure to follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern will continue in a moment. We believe a plant should be more than a plant. This one is, it's all you need for your garden to succeed because it's a bonnie plant. It represents hundreds of varieties of Bonnie's quality veggies and herbs. But more, it's from generations of Bonnie people who are passionate about sharing their love of gardening with you. Look for this little Bonnie plant and a whole family of plants like it in your garden center, Bonnie Plants, so you'll know how to grow. <laughs> 